Hello everyone, how is it going? This is the Video Gamer 64 here, and today I got a PS3 console. The wait is over with. I finally got a PS3 console, and I got uh, 22 games that I got recently, and plus a few other things. And if I have enough time, I'll be showing a few other things that I got recently. But without a doubt, let's get started. First thing, if y'all might be wondering what the PS3 looks like, it is the Super Slim model, PlayStation 3. It says it right there, PS3. Look at that beauty. Ooh. And how you turn this on, you would turn it on like this. I mean, you would like go like this, close it, or inject the disc right here, like that. Which I think is a pretty cool feature. And to turn it on, obviously, you would have to go like that. So I'm very happy I got a PS3. And it didn't. It came with cords, but I didn't want to show them because I figure it would take a long time to show everything and uh, more. And I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. And uh, and then I got two controllers for the PlayStation Three. So yeah. Now let's dive into the games. These games right here, I um got for five bucks a piece. Wasn't gonna pass up on them. I got Call of Duty as Bound in Blood, a Western game, which is right up my alley. I love Western games like Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption, and Gun, and all of that stuff. So um, so when I seen this game, I wasn't passing it up, and plus, complete in box. Who would? So I'm happy to get that game. Star and then I got Star Wars: The Force Unleashed 2, complete in box. I'm so happy and thankful I got all of these games. Then I got God of War Collection, remastered in high definition, it says. And it's also complete in box. Then I got Little Big Planet 3. And it's not complete in box, but it comes with a gaming case. And you can see Sack Boy right there. I think he's a cute little character for the PlayStation mascot. Currently, I think he is still the mascot. Then the last game I got for five bucks was uh, let me double check, and make sure. Yeah, this is the last game I got for five bucks, and the rest was free. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Fate of the Two Worlds, and it is complete in box. So I'm happy to get that. Then the rest of these guys are free. I'm going to have WWE 12. I wasn't going to pass up on that. Open it up. It comes with a game and case. Which I'm happy about that. Then we got Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Another copy that I have already. This one is complete in box. Then we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Which I got the game in there. But I uh, currently just have the case and manual in there. But it's complete. Because I got the game in the PS3. Then I got NBA 2K17. Complete in box. Which I like basketball and baseball and stuff like that. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I picked this up on a 360 a while back. And now I got it uh, here. And this came with a receipt for some reason. But I didn't pay nothing for it. Anyway, complete in box. Then I got Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. I remember playing this game back in the day. It brings back so many memories. So yeah, and this is the greatest hits version. Open it up. Complete in box. Yeah, I remember playing that back in the day. But I... Did I say I had it on PS3? I meant this if I did, I meant to say I have it I had it on the Wii back in the day. Nintendo Wii. And when he said he had an NCAA football game, I was excited. Because I was thinking it was 2014. Uh, because that's a valuable sports game. If anybody sees NCAA football 14 on uh PS3 or 360, pick it up. That game is valuable and I don't have it in my collection. But it is valuable. But sadly, and I'm but I'm happy. 
either way, is NCAA Football 13. And it comes just with the disc in the case, but when I add it to my collection and price charting to make sure I don't buy duplicates hardly, it, uh, I just added the, put the game in there. And this game, I, I was so excited to play this. This is the limited edition of Twisted Metal. I checked. It don't have the game or the case. I mean, it has the case, but it don't have the game or manual. But that's all right because I know somebody that has the game, and I could be able to get the game, and then it'd be uh, just the game and case. Then I got Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, another copy. This one comes just with the game in case, and uh, Lego Star Wars: Years Five Through Seven. This one is complete in box. Then we got Motor Storm. Just comes with the game and case, which I'm either way I'm happy with all of these. Then I got Need for Speed the Run, the greatest hits version, which I had this on PS3 back, I mean 360 back in the day. Complete in box. Then this game case is beat up, but it's Test Drive Unlimited 2, but I'm happy to have this. You can see right there where it's beat up, but that's okay, and as long as the game works, that's all I care about, and if I find a better case, I'll get the case with it too. Anyway, Test Drive Unlimited 2, uh, just the game and case. Then we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, pretty good game. Open it up. It is complete in box. Most of these games, the free games that I got with the PS3 for free, um, I got them Friday that just passed. Anyway, Lego Harry Potter Year for, Year One through Four Collector's Edition. I never had this one. Uh, collector's Edition one comes with the manual, and it comes with the case. That's what the Collector's Edition looks like, guys. And uh. Comes with the PS3 disc, and I'm not for sure. I have not watched this one yet, but it's bonus disc. I don't have. I have no idea if that's just a bonus game disc with it or what. But either way, I'm happy. Then I got MLB The Show 14. This game comes just with the case and game, which I'm a fan of baseball, so I'm happy to see the game was in there, and I'm excited to play that. In the game, this is the greatest hits version. It's a Grand Theft Auto game. And it's weird. Someone asked me, did San Andreas come with a map? And I couldn't answer that question because I didn't have that at the time. But now I got it. And the answer shall be revealed. Comes with the disc. And the map. And the manual. And everything. Greatest hits version. And then, yesterday I went to the flea market and got Psyduck, the plush. And I couldn't read any of the words in here, but I looked it up and it looks like it's from China, which is cool. And it says 1997 Nintendo, if you look very carefully right there. Let's see. Yeah. Say hi, hi. And anyway, it says Pokemon with Pikachu on it. And it says uh, Japanese words right here, or Chinese words. But either way, I was happy to get this. I wasn't passing it up for three bucks. I wasn't passing up on it. Then I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's right, I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I remembered this one I had. I'm not going to be showing all of them, but I'll show a few of them. Let's see, I'm going to get some good ones out here, I think. Get that one out and let me go through them because I got 53 cards yesterday at this one booth. And I'll put show that one. I'll just show five of them out of 53 of them that I got yesterday. And this one. Okay. All settled. I remember so many good memories of playing Yu Gi Oh cards back in the day. I remember in junior high, me and my friend Frankie used to play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and we would have like a whole gang of people 
playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Some people would bet money, some people wouldn't. And that was before you could do, that was when you could do all of that, like play cards and stuff at school, before school even started. I'll show y'all my favorite one last. This one is the Tiger Dragon, which it says first edition on it. So I think that's pretty cool. I seen this one and I said, uh, I don't know if I'll get that one or not. But this last card I'm going to show y'all convinced me to buy the whole stack. Twin-headed Belmoth, Mammoth, or something like that. Which looks very cool. And then we got Norito, the Moral Leader. And it's, it looks like it's holographic, but I'm not for sure. Let me check. No. It's just a gloss over it. So it's pretty cool. And then we got a person named Danfer Vampire Sheridan. And this one convinced me to buy the whole stack. I asked him how much he wanted just for this card. He said, you could just take them all for five bucks. So I said, all right. So it came with all of these right here. That many cards. And I wasn't passing them up just because of this one. This was the card I kicked ass at most of the time with. And when I seen this as that card, it brought me back good memories. And that is, my friends, the Dirt Magician. I remember him, watching him on Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid. He was so iconic to watch back then. And I love the Dirt Magician. He's one of the best characters, in my opinion. Oh, and I even got more right here, by the way. I forgot the... Oh, shit. Drop one. Anyway. More of these. So when you add all of them together... They look like this. <laughs> he had football cards and everything, but I said, uh, should I get them? Because I'm not a fan of football. I, because I don't understand the rules of it, you know. If I did, I probably would like it. And uh, he, I didn't buy them because I didn't want to take a chance on them. Because I don't know if they'd be worth anything or not. But no matter how much these are worth, I might get like sleeves for them and keep them all. Especially Dark Magician. I gotta keep Dark Magician. And uh, guys, I want to thank y'all so much. On my previous video on YouTube, I reached over 100 views. And guys, I appreciate it. All of you mean a lot to me. I truly, truly appreciate it a lot. I love all of you like family. And y'all are some badass, awesome people. <laughs> And uh, if y'all want me to go make a vi I mean, if y'all want me to make a video eventually on all of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I got recently, feel free to let me know in the comments or tell me about it in the inbox, and I'll definitely do it. I mean, I will literally go through every single one of these bad boys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all did, feel free to comment, like, rate, subscribe, or anything you want to do to support my channel to see more videos on here. We are rocking 25,000 views on YouTube, and I'm so happy about that. And I never thought I would see the day where I would get that many views total on my total upload views on any site. But Vidly, I'm getting a lot of views on that site too, and I want to thank all of you for that. And feel free to comment, like, rate, subscribe to see more videos on here as well. To see more videos on here. I love all of y'all like family. And this is the Video Gamer 64 signing off.